Good afternoon. I'm Sarah Bond, and today I'm in West Philadelphia coming to you live with Garrett, a student from the Haverford School, to tell you a little bit about this brand new mural. Garrett? Um, it's great that you've come here. It's really nice. Um, this mural, as you can see, was done in collaboration with the Haverford School and uh, Mastery Shoemaker Charter School. And the best thing about it was the experience of getting to come over here from Haverford and see their building in Philadelphia and see how they work and how they community and how they speak and to form kind of a community with art. That was really nice for us. In addition, this mural is unlike any mural probably in the world in the fact that it's augmented reality. So basically, if you take this computer or this phone and you use the app and you put it up here, you'll be able to see little floating orbs. And every orb has a corresponding sound to it. There's music playing. And sometimes you'll see a statue, like right over there. And the statues have um, words given from the elders of the community. And we found it really important that community engagement be the central focus of this project. So what we would do is we'd go around the community and we'd interview elders about what they thought the future would be because the main project theme of the project was community um, and what the future would be. So we'd ask the elders what they thought the future would look like or sound like or feel like, and they gave us all these amazing things in addition to the past because there's the African concept of Sankofa, which is you know where you've been to know where you're going. Um, I understand that like some, some drawings from students are incorporated into this. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, we had this project where we draw for about 5 to 15 seconds. And then we draw these abstractions because the artist Josh Mays, he draws with abstractions. Like if you look right there uh, where the purple and light purple are, or if you look at these radiating rings, all those are abstractions that aren't things that exist in nature, but they're still beautiful, eye-appealing shapes. And so we would, every five to 15 seconds, we'd draw abstractions and then we'd pass it to a partner. And then they'd pass it to a partner. So by the end, you got your paper back and your part of it was in there, but you also had things from everyone else in the room. And that goes again into the theme of community in the future and how the things that you put here today will change in the future and become more wonderful. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, and now we're gonna come on over and get a chance to speak with one of the teachers Hi. who is involved. Chris Fox, can you tell us a little bit about the arts at Haverford and how this project was important to your students? Well, one of the things that's really important for us at Haverford, one is that art doesn't just kind of live in the classroom and art doesn't even just live on the wall, that art reaches out and builds connections. So at school, connections can sometimes be doing interdisciplinary art uh, and this mural is a great example of our connections outside of the school to the wider community of, of artists, but the community of people who live near us. And I think that's powerful when the work that you do individually connects with other people and, and other communities. And so that's an important part of art at Haverford. And, and what was your favorite part of, of creating this mural with the students? Uh, I think showing up here the first time and seeing it on the wall and to, s to hear students say, oh, I can't believe how good it looks or how big it is. I could never have imagined this is what it was going to be. And we kind of knew that there'd be that powerful experience for the boys, and that's why we got them involved. But they didn't quite believe us. But when they finally saw it, they, they believed. And what we're excited about is that this will be here for years. And our hope is that these boys in 20 years will pull their car over and take their son out of the back seat and say, I worked on this. Mm -hmm. So I think it's that kind of work that has lasting power to build connections with people and connections across time. How many chances do you get to do that? So. Oh, that's great. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Hello, Dr. Noggle. Hi, it's good to see you again. Good to see you. How are you? Good. Isn't this fun? We're live. Hello. On Facebook. Hello, world. So. This is Dr. John Noggle, ninth headmaster of the Haverford School. At the unveiling of the mural arts project, we've been working on with the Mastery Charter School Shoemaker Branch for the last almost a year, I think. And it is super cool. I'm obviously unbelievably proud of the boys and of the school's role in recognizing the importance art can have in teaching history and in helping people dream big dreams 
and make the world a, a prettier place and a more interesting place and a better place to be in. So pretty cool, right? It's very cool. Can you tell us just a little bit more about how um, this mural and this arts project um, is reflective of the Haverford culture and the character that you're building there? Sure. So uh, the Haverford School is enormously proud to build boys with, in conjunction with parents and teachers and coaches uh, and mentors and everybody, uh, to build boys who are not just athletes, not just great students and scholars, not just artists, but, but all three. And most of all, to build boys who understand that they have a role to play in stewarding their world, in respecting each other and respecting everyone around them, and in, in working to build a, a more just and equitable planet and society. And so this project, uh, which, which stemmed from uh, an episode of the Joseph Cox Leadership Lecture Series, so every year we bring in inspiring leaders who change the world and make the world a better place, uh, and we had Jane speak and, and talk to us about the Mural Arts Project, and the boys gave her a standing ovation at the end. It was fantastic. Uh, and, and afterwards, we said we wanted to be a part of that, and we wanted our boys to be a part of giving something back to Philadelphia, the city that in which they live and which has given them so much. And so we found funders, and we figured out how to do the mural, and we worked with the mural arts team, and we had a bunch of our boys and a bunch of the teams from Mastery Charter School, and, and we all came together, and they even put a smock on me and had me do some painting. And the corner over there where nobody's going to see the way I messed it up and and um, for a lot of the boys and you've, you've talked to I hope uh, uh, some of the guys uh, it was one of the most meaningful things they've ever done and they got to be a part of something that's going to be here for 50 years and and so um, super excited about the way we've helped boys recognize the the role they can play in making the world better and our hope is that that's going to inspire them as they plan their colleges, as they plan their majors, as they look for their careers after college, to recognize that they have a role to play in improving the world and that just one person with a big idea can inspire others to be a part of it and can really make a difference. Thank you so much, Dr. Nagel. Fun talking really you. appreciate it. Great to see it. you. You too. Today's event is part of our Mural Arts Month series of events. So I want to wish you all a happy Mural Arts Month. Maybe you did not know that, but October is always Mural Arts Month. We took the idea from the city of San Francisco. They have a Mural Arts Week. A week. A week, San Francisco. Well, we have a month because we have so much going on. And we want to thank our constituents and partners and friends and supporters and artists for all the great work that they do to make our city sing. But then there's something else that happens, and that is individual change. And that is what is even more important. It's the change in young people, or the people we work with, who are in and out of the criminal justice system, or the behavioral health system, or community groups, or everybody, anybody, the 25,000 constituents we work with annually. There is a profound change that happens around the power of art. And I feel deeply, deeply privileged to be a witness to that process. So I want to talk a minute about our great artists. Um, I am a believer that artists are agents of change. I feel that when it comes to problems that cities face, that our traditional, traditional interventions will fail us from time to time. They just do. But if you ask an artist how to solve something, they're going to come up with something that you had not considered. So they enrich my life and the lives of people at Mural Arts and across the city all the time. I am thrilled to say to you that we employ hundreds of artists every year. Uh, DJ and composer King Britt and Joshua Mays are two artists that I've had the privilege of knowing for a long time. They work together to develop dreams, diaspora, and destiny. King Britt has performed all over the world including curating music for Momo, PS1, and Fringe Arts. His work combines music, culture, and performing arts. It's really a privilege to work with him. Joshua Mays 
He's based in Oakland, but I feel in a way you're from Philly. You have a connection to Philly. Um, and his work is incredible, and I have been a fan for so long, and it's been a dream of ours. Joshua worked with us a long time ago, but his star has just gone up, up, up in the art world. And as it has, we're like, we want Joshua to do a mural here. So when King said, well, I want to do this collaboration with Joshua, that was like hugely exciting. It was music to our ears. I think that they are enormously talented. I learned a lot actually working with them about the ways they would twist sounds up. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed the app when you listened to it earlier today. Um, it was a very ambitious project. And I got to give it to Blue Design for really coming out with uh, an amazing app. I mean, it was such a good team working with Josh, who, I mean, this is beyond anything I've seen him do. And uh, to create the music to go with the app, was it was um, it was like scoring a movie in a way and interviewing the community members and having their voices intertwined within the app uh, it, it really is it was a beautiful moment and uh, blue design much respect because they got no sleep with this project each individual also became a part of the school's legacy part of Philadelphia history helped to enrich the city's beauty and made a lasting artwork that citizens and visitors can enjoy. This project, this takeaways, and impact should not be ignored. We shall all own what we came together to create through many hours of hard work and ideas. In closing, to all those who donated and made the calls possible, Mrs. Black, Mr. Fox, the teachers at Shoemaker, Shoemaker Mastery, Josh Mays, King Burke, all the artists and professionals at Mural Arts, the neighborhood, the city of Philadelphia, all, my, all the students, my parents and family, friends, God, and all those in attendance. Thank you. Sign up as a supporting member to find your village with the Philly family community and receive our weekly high five newsletters, your subscription to our print magazine, and your official membership card, which entitles you to discounts on family memberships, birthday parties, and events at your favorite museums and local businesses. Learn more at phillyfamily.com slash join.